Hi, I'm Ashton, and, oh, I forgot to take my glasses off. Hi, I'm Ashton, and this is one of my cats. You always see my other cat, but this guy's here today. Ow. I have about two hours until I need to go to a music lesson, which is the perfect amount of time to film the Patches and Parley, so here we are. If you're new to my channel, or if you're new to this series, Patches and Parley is a genre, I guess, of video where I sew something onto my jean jacket and talk about something generally political or queer related. I'm truly struggling to thread my needle today, but we'll get through it. Anyways, where I was going with this, um, today I'm sewing on this patch that says queer. I don't know if my camera does it backwards, because to me it looks backwards, but I think when it's actually like you're watching it, I think it's the other way. Anyways, this patch says queer, and today, in relation to my patch saying queer, I wanted to talk about identities and labels. Specifically the idea of like, labels are for clothes, which is an idea that I find a bit weird and a bit condescending and just not my favorite thing. I got this through a Patches Pins Accessories company online called Strange Ways. They support a lot of small artists and they seem to be pretty cool. And I'm sewing it on right below my cross patch that I made in one of the first Patches and Parleys, like one of the first three, I think. This is Gizmo. You wanna say hi to the people? Look at his face. Look at this boy's face. You cannot sit on my jacket while I'm sewing. That's not gonna work, honey. You'll poke yourself. He's now purring and rubbing his face on my hand as I am holding a needle. So that's where we are right now in our relationship. So since I have a patch that says queer, I wanted to talk a little bit about labels and about like what people think about labels and some of the misconceptions that I feel like people have about labels. My labels. This is why you're never in my room. Uh, he also really likes sitting on my shoulder, which is apparently what he wants to do right now. So, so how do people film with their animals? This is the worst. All right, well, because I love him, I'm just gonna let him stay there. Uh, but if I can't properly sit up for the next few minutes, you know why. The specific thing that I wanted to talk about um, in relation to labels for this video is the kind of idea or the phrase that like, labels are for clothes, or, like labels are for soup cans. Cause I just find it like a really, um, how would I phrase this? Cause I just find the idea really almost um, condescending in a like, oh, like, yeah, you can label yourself however you want, but in the end, labels are for soup cans, like labels aren't for humans. Um, but like, ow, 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 gizmo. I sometimes see the sentiment um, around the internet, especially, ow. <laughs> I sometimes see the sentiment in uh, LGBT circles on the internet. And while I think I understand where that sentiment comes from, I don't think it's a very healthy one or a very inclusive one. I see the sentiment a lot particularly among allies. Like I don't see a lot of LGBT people saying, oh, labels are for clones, but I do see it a lot among allies, which is interesting to me. And I kind of wanted to talk about that and talk about why I don't think it is a good sentiment to share. Especially like a lot of LGBT related merchandise for allies and even for LGBT people, you'll see the stuff that's like gay, bi, straight, trans, and then it's like all crossed off. And then it's like human, which first of all, if you think allyship is just saying that we're human, you couldn't be further from the truth. That's like the bare minimum of being a good person is recognizing that LGBT people are human. Like, whoa, shocker guys. I, I thought I was a transformer because I'm trans, so I'm clearly not human. But regardless of why it exists, I've always found it slightly off-putting because like I get it from like a, oh, like cute social justice standpoint, it makes sense. But from an actual like allyship and oppression dynamic standpoint, I don't like it and I won't criticize people like individually for wearing stuff like that, especially if they are LGBT plus and it's something that makes them comfortable. But for me, it just feels so minimal. Like, okay, yeah, we're human. That's the bare minimum thing you could say. For me, figuring out my identity and all the labels that come along with it has been something that's really, really healthy and freeing in a way. Like figuring out who I am in a sense of like, hey, I identify with these people because they identify similarly to me. Finding those labels as like a home in a sense and as a people that I can relate to has been life-changing obviously as a trans person and not only as a trans person, but as a non-binary person and as a gay person and as like all the identities that I have for myself. All of them are important and all of them mean something different. And I don't think people should take that away from people like me just because like labels are for soup cans. In case you're wondering, by the way, 
You wanna say hi? You're just gonna sit there. A lot of people identify with a lot of different labels and I don't think it's productive to say things like gay, bi, lesbian, whatever, we're all human because like we know we're all human. I'm not sitting here saying I'm gay so I'm a part of a different species. I'm sitting here saying I'm gay, I know I'm a human. You didn't have to tell me that I'm a human, like that's some weird allyship if you're sitting there like, um, by the way, black people are people. I feel that it's important to recognize different levels of diversity and when people are disregarding individual identities in favor of saying we're all human, it just doesn't seem productive to me. The dynamics of oppression and privilege is something that's really interesting to me as like a social justice warrior, if you will, that's a whole different passion than Parley. As somebody in multiple marginalized groups, examining the reasons people feel the way they do and thinking about why people are oppressed as opposed to just saying, well, it shouldn't be that way because we're all human. Like, we know we're all human. We know gay people and trans people and bi people and pan people and poly people. We all know we're human. You telling us that we're human isn't going to be productive. It seems like such a baseline of, hey, I recognize that you're also a person. And we're just like, thanks? Even some people within the trans community will express like the same sentiment of like, you don't need all these labels. It feels like the same brand of soft activism that's like, trans rights are human rights, uwu. We know because we're human. Like it would have been the opposite of helpful to go to the Stonewall riots and stand there and be like, cops are humans too, you know, like, come on. Label policing and identity policing is always something that's annoyed me a lot. And I feel like this is almost just another form of that. It feels like a way of saying gay people and straight people are all the same. And in one sense, I appreciate that. And I, I do get where it's coming from, but I also recognize that gay people and straight people aren't the same because one of us has hundreds of years of oppression on our backs and the other one is that years of oppression. Like it's counterproductive to ignore the structural oppression that people face in favor of just saying we're all human. As it is with all of these videos, this is just my opinion. If there are trans people out there or bi people out there that sit there and are like, we're all human and think that that's like the best approach, then cool, you're allowed to have that approach. But don't be like shocked when there are people like me that just think that's performative and just not the best way to deal with any sort of oppression. Like, I love being queer. I love being trans. There's a whole other video on that. Don't make me get into it right now. But being an LGBT person is a big part of my identity. And I don't want to give that up because some people are like, well, like, it doesn't matter if you're gay or trans or whatever, because we're all the same, really. Like, oh God. Like, I know that trans people, cis people, non-binary people are all just people, but in the way that society is now and with the institutions that we have in place, we aren't treated as such. And I feel like it's important to talk about the discrimination and it's important to recognize groups of people that are discriminated. And for that, you kind of need labels. It's important for people like me to be able to identify with people like themselves. I don't know where I would be if I didn't find the label trans and find this whole online community that I'm now a part of. It feels very reductionist in the sense that it's like, oh, well, you know, queer is just a word. Like you're making a big deal out of a word. Like, honey, everything's a fucking word. Like if you say gay is just a label or pan is just a label, great, that's fine. But it's a label that comes with oppression and it's a label that ostracizes people and it's a label that people will use to make others feel bad. It's not just a label when it's a label that comes with years of oppression. In the same way that slurs aren't just words because they're words with, that are loaded with hate, the labels that I and other people within my community use for ourselves oftentimes aren't just labels because they're things that we've been ostracized for and they're things that we've created a community out of. I know those people do have good intentions, but when you just say, oh, well, LGBT people are all just human, it's taking away a important identity for a lot of people that can find comfort in it. Labels make a lot of people more comfortable with themselves, and I don't think it's fair to take that away from people just because you don't see it that way. Another thing that I've heard related to labels is, is like, oh, all these micro identities and all these like Tumblr genders, quote unquote, are making LGBT people look bad. It's another argument that annoys me just because it's not LGBT people's fault that LGBT people are oppressed. It's the oppressor's faults. It's shitty to ostracize an LGBT person because their identity doesn't fit within those four letters. Like, I don't understand why we don't just let people exist. Like people identifying as whatever the hell they want to isn't hurting anyone. Like if you want to get down into it, 
every word is just a label. Like, <laughs> obviously, words are labels for ideas or concepts or physical things or emotions or whatever, but that doesn't make them unimportant. Gizmo, you cannot pounce on my hand while it is under my jacket. That is rude. That's my hand. Get off of it. I love you. A question that I get like a lot is people asking what I think about Tumblr genders or micro identities and like I genuinely don't have a problem with it. If you want to call yourself like hetero flexible or star gender, I genuinely don't care because it's none of my fucking business. If there's a label that feels good for you, use it. That's great. Like imagine applying the that isn't a word logic to any other word. Language is human invented. We're not sitting here making up words willy nilly because people just want to. When new things emerge, new words have to be made up. Fun fact, Hebrew, being like a dying language in some senses of the term, is constantly updated. Like, there's a group of people that- Gizmo, stop it. Let go of that. Like, there's a group of people that whenever, like, new technology is invented, they create a Hebrew word for it to keep the language alive and to keep the language, like, working. Which I think is rad as hell. Like, why can't that be the same in other languages? Just because words are made up doesn't mean they're not true identities. It just means that they're new, and that's okay, and that doesn't make anything any less valid. Languages evolve over time to fit the people that use it, and that's what makes language usable and fun and able to be understood, is that it changes and evolves. And one of the ways that it can change and evolve is by creating new words for things that don't have words that fit them. Criticizing people's identities and labels and thinking that you're genuinely going to make a difference in how they identify just seems like a little bit egocentric to me. You know, there are trans people out there that think non-binary people don't exist, and I consider myself both non-binary and trans, which is something I will probably do a video on at some point, because whenever I mention being a non-binary trans boy, I get questions about like, how can you be both? Don't ask that in the comments of this video, because I will explain it later, I promise. Not in this video, but in another video. Just keep up with me, and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know all the secrets of being non-binary and trans at the same time. It's great. <laughs> I get comments all the time telling me that non-binary people are fake, but like, I'm still here, I'm still existing, and I still identify as non-binary, so sorry. But I, I'm, ha sorry, hi, I exist as a non-binary person. I don't just poof out of existence because you think that there are only two genders. Like the first thing I think of when people say, oh, labels are for clothes or labels are for soup cans is like, yeah, they are. But labels are also for genres of art, for hairstyles, for different animals. Like there's a label for everything and that's what makes language good. Like that's how language works. I do want to clarify something though. Like if that's how you feel, if you feel like labels aren't useful for you in any way, and if you feel like they're counterproductive maybe, or just not something that you're interested in, then that's fine. Like let yourself be labelless. I'm totally down with that. But what I'm not cool with is you taking labels away from other people just because they aren't something that works for you. If you feel like you don't fit into any labels, even when it comes to gender or sexuality, that's cool. That's totally fine. And that's totally valid but I don't think that you should tell other people that they have to feel the same way. There is a big difference between labels that we put on ourselves and labels that are used on us by other people when it comes to like the dynamics of oppression, when it comes to being LGBT. I've seen arguments for like, well, why would you label yourself? People are only gonna use that to judge you and to categorize you. But honestly, if people judge me because I identify as queer, that's their fucking problem. That's not my problem. Regardless, I know that whether or not I label myself as something, others are going to label me some way, in some way. Like, I don't know how, but other people do label me. Gizmo. And if people are going to label me, I would much rather label myself and have that control for myself rather than give that control over to people that don't know me and people that I don't want to have a say in who I am. I'm comfortable calling myself queer. I'm comfortable calling myself gay. I'm comfortable calling myself pan. I'm comfortable calling myself trans. I'm comfortable calling myself non-binary. And if that makes other people uncomfortable, then I think that's their problem, not mine. The only exception there being queer, because I do understand that that's still a slur, and if people don't want me to use that for myself around them, then I understand that. And I also do avoid calling other people queer unless I know that it is explicitly okay with them. But for me, I like being called queer. It feels affirming and it feels right for me. I feel like I need to emphasize again that like, this is a purely personal thing. I like labels because there's something that makes me feel more connected with my identity and more connected with the communities that I'm in. 
But for people that aren't comfortable with labels and for people that just want to be considered human and maybe they are gay, but they just don't call themselves that, that's totally cool, that's totally fine. But you know, if you're a cishet and you're out here like, why are all these LGBTs nowadays like calling themselves all these different labels? I don't need any of these labels. It's because you're not in any of those groups. People that constantly preach about like labels are for clothes do like genuinely annoy me sometimes and it is hard for me to put why into words so that's why I kind of wanted to make this video to not only collect my thoughts but also share them and say like why I do identify with so many labels and why I'm fucking okay with that. So just for like a personal example let's talk a little bit about some of the labels that I identify with because I have plenty of them and I think that's fine. Just the idea of labels are for clothes not for people takes things away from people that make them comfortable. You can be a people and also have labels. Like, imagine if none of us had labels. I feel like whether you realize it or not, everybody uses labels. Like, when describing yourself, you're not just gonna say, I don't have any personality traits, I'm a human. We all label ourselves as, like, kind or compassionate or as a musician or as an artist. Like, we all do have labels that we use for themselves. When asked to describe yourself, you give labels, regardless of if they are, I'm queer or just, I'm a musician, like that's a label too. And nobody makes fun of musicians for calling themselves musicians cause they're damn musicians. And just like a musician is a musician, I'm queer. I constantly see like tweets and Instagram posts but like labels are for clothes, not people, which is a fine sentiment when you are applying it to yourself. But I feel like when you post something like that, you're implying that everybody that has any label ever is silly and it's ridiculous and you should just not label yourself as anything because that's only meant for soup cans. If a label makes someone happy and if a label makes someone more comfortable with who they are, then why should you criticize that? Besides, how do we know who the Nazis are if they just stopped labeling themselves alt-right? People use labels all the time to connect with people who are like them and to examine their own identity and to be more comfortable with who they are and I don't think that's a negative thing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the labels that I use for my gender because I use a lot. There are a lot of different ways that accurately describe how I feel gender-wise so I wanted to talk about a few of them just as an example of like how somebody can have multiple labels. Like there are a lot of things that I identify with and a lot of things that make me feel like me but that doesn't mean that they're all I am, but they are still an important part of me and they are still a part of me that I do like to share. So I use transmasculine because I was assigned female at birth and now I identify closer to being a male. I use non-binary because even though I am transmasculine, I don't identify entirely as a male. I identify as a trans boy because I'm somebody that was assigned female at birth and am transitioning into a male. I label myself as trans because I don't identify with the gender that I was assigned at birth. I identify with the label of demi boy because I feel like a boy, but not 100%. I put all those labels on myself not to categorize myself or to demean myself, but to understand myself better and to help others understand me better. So I guess to sum it up, I feel that labels can be really helpful in figuring out your own identity and for finding people that are similar to you and just for existing as a human, labels really help you figure out the world, and I don't think they're a negative thing. That said, if you don't identify with any particular labels, that's not a bad thing either, but don't apply that to everybody else. And with that, I have stitched the final stitch. So now I'm going to put my jacket on, show you where I put the patch, and wrap up this discussion, this video. So here is my patch. I'm too short to show you, so... It was looking a bit right side heavy, so I put it on the left side. I have still, like, multiple more patches to put on, so if you have a suggestion for a Patches and Parley topic, let me know. I have a couple more um, that I'm planning on talking about, but if there is something in particular that you would like to hear me discuss, specifically if it is political or LGBT related, I would love to know. Um, you've met this one before. You've never met Gizmo before, but a very rare uh, two cats in one video. You're welcome. He's on my lap now. Anyways, yes, that is what I wanted to talk about today. I hope that this maybe made you think about that whole phrase in a new way, or maybe it helped you as an ally realize that that might not be the best phrase to spout to cover up the LGBT community as a whole. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed talking about this and I hope you guys enjoyed listening. Um, so, goodbye. If you are LGBT, don't feel afraid to claim your identities because they are yours and you are allowed to. And I will talk to you later, maybe.